Hi, my name is Tom Casey and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your pest control company. Basically the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys fall out in search results when people are searching online for pest control in Mesa. Now today I'm only going to cover two factors because um, I want to keep this video short but I want to run a couple things by you. But before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for pest control. This is a tool from Google. And basically it goes out and does a count by month of search terms. It gives you a monthly average. And what you're looking at here is for the last 12 months from March on back, is how many people are searching for pest control in Mesa. Um, this is an average and it rounds up to the nearest 90, I mean uh, nearest 10 I should say. But anyway, let's go look. This last April was 390, down to 320, 480 in June, 390 again, back up to 480 in the fall, down to 210 then 390 uh, again for the last three months. That's a lot of people searching for pest control, okay? So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did, I went over here to Google, did a search for pest control in Mesa. This is page one, okay? Let's see where I find you. You are over here, there you are. Assured pest control, and this is page three, okay? So again, I just wanna cover two factors with you. But these are two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two, but for today we're just going to talk about these guys and I'm going to compare you with somebody on this page using those two factors. And I want to see if there's any differences. And if there are differences, I want to see if there's anything that can be done about it to help you out and move you up in search rankings. So we're going to use responsible pest control as a comparison. And let's go do the first factor. The first thing I'm going to talk about today is citations. A citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing. All right. I'm going to give you an example. This website here actually goes out and finds directory sites. Here's a directory site called B2B Yellow Pages. So if Assured Pest Control had a listing on B2B Yellow Pages, name, address, phone number listing, that would be considered one citation. Now search engines love citations. The more the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Now at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here, it's telling me you have 46 citations. Responsible, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 99. So almost double what you have. The good news is, we can quickly and easily get you added to these directory sites. So this number 46, we can bump that up close to 100 in short order. Okay, if we do that, it's going to give you a nice positive boost in search rankings. You definitely would move up, okay? So that's citations. Second and last factor I want to run by you today is backlinks. And backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called Mesa Pest Controls Supplies.com, and on their website, they had a link to assuredpest.com. That would be considered one backlink. Now, search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do. Now, this website actually goes on and does a count of backlinks for your site, okay? Um, it's telling me you have zero. We want to look at unique active, but in any case, you're zero everywhere. It's telling me you do not have any backlinks. Let's go look responsible head on the other hand has 19. But there's still good news here. We can add backlinks to your site, all right? We probably only need to add about eight or 10 of them. I'm gonna tell you why. These guys are ranking because of this number, 19. But this score is pretty bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your website. And it's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. The stronger and better the website, the higher that score is gonna be, okay? The score really should be close to 30%. Now, if you look at you, even though you have no backlinks, you, you apparently at one point had some backlinks and people must have taken them off their site because you had a decent score. I don't know how many links you did have, but at the current moment, you don't have any. But what this means to you, though, we said add 8 to 10 good quality backlinks to your site and get this score, keep this score up to get 28 or low 30%. That would be huge for you. You would really jump and the search rankings. You really would move up, okay? So today, we talked about two items only. We talked about citations and backlinks. Uh, but you've seen that there are differences between you 
and someone on another page of Google, but you're also finding out that there are steps we can take to eliminate those differences and mitigate them. And if we do that with just these two factors alone, give you a nice positive boost in search rankings. All right, so I hope you found this was somewhat helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to discuss other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There is no cost. There's no obligation. So if you want to find out how I can help you out, um, or give me a call or shoot me an email, and we can go from there. Have a great day. Bye now.